Hi friends welcome to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and share and also please don't forget to like it would surely help our channel happy watching. Five years after the establishment of the Great Yi Dynasty, Cook Sengjin, the princess of the Little Zhu Dynasty, led her envoys to visit the Great Yi Dynasty. Messenger Uncle the princess has arrived at court with her people, she's known to be domineering, spiteful, and unruly the princess that scares all the civil servants of the Little Zhu Dynasty. Yan and the most remarkable thing is, she has a teardrop mole and pink hair, just like your pink parrot I heard she studied in a school with 3,000 handsome men for the enjoyment of noble women. King Shao very bad to provoke. Yan Uncle Shao, tame the pink bird it's bullying the black bird again. Whatever there really is someone out there who matches all your dislikes, would you like to go and have a look? King Shao, the first him not interested. Yan where are you going? Uncle King Shao, the king is going to the palace I need to discuss some matters with his majesty. Yan why do I suddenly sense a murderous aura? It's not about the princess, is it? Princess Cook Singchen has come to see the emperor on behalf of her kingdom, hoping to establish friendly relations and trade between the two countries the decision rests in my uncle's hands. Attendant your highness, we have arrived that would be the imperial uncle. His Highness King Shao he's coming towards us my heart is pounding. Princess Cook Singchen where's the princess? The eunuch just said he was the youngest uncle of the Yi dynasty. The one who managed the dynasty for five years before returning the rule to the emperor of Yi little uncle Yang Xuan. Heavens checkpoint empty food source Yang Xuan. Attendant yes, what else? Get ready we can't possible going on our two legs I can see him coming. Why be mean? Can't you just give in and ask him nicely, please? No way am I going to act soft ask him? Those words aren't in my vocabulary I'd never ask him, even if I were desperate, even if the world was ending. Princess, behind you I'm leaving, you lead the way. Are you the princess from the little Zhu dynasty, Cook Singchen? Imperial, Imperial uncle? This king cannot bear to hear the princess call him that. Fine since you're the youngest uncle of the Ya dynasty. It's only proper to call you uncle I'll do my best to treat you well, given how insignificant you are tomorrow in Shenyang, the king of Shu expects the princess if you're even a minute late, you'll face the consequences. No problems came up from that. He seems quite friendly, princess, what's going on between you and the imperial uncles? Which one did you leave behind? Which others? Just one I met him before, brought him back to our school, and then broke up with him. Oh. I get it so, you tricked Uncle Huang he thought he was your lover, but he was just being used. Uncle, my guy didn't just get friends so based on your past actions towards him, you bullied him back then, and now that you are in his domain, there's no chance of escaping his vengeance. He will imprison and torture you, locking you in darkness one way or another, there will be nothing left of you, not even your bones. Once he's done from this moment on, the imperial uncle won't be attending court in the morning princess, why don't we flee now, princess, run away I shall not it would be an immense honor to sustain diplomatic ties with your country, a land of wealth and beauty how can I leave simply because of my own fears, clearly, she promised her sisters she'd return with a fine dress, good food, and a charming man she's afraid of disappointing them and facing their wrath at Hongman banquet of course, I'm going your highness. Why not dress up a bit more? A little sleep will fix everything when lightning strikes the ground, the old debt will be settled, and the imperial uncle is so handsome he's a sight for sore eyes. Is the princess someone who would sell herself? Absolutely not I can't change my clothes I'll just attend in this outfit isn't he just an uncle? If I could manage him a year ago, can't I handle him now? Your highness, the princess is here. Though I don't know why she's hesitating outside you should lock these two parrots away for now if you encounter the princess, bring her to me as you command princess, are you a coward, a coward, how could I, a princess, be a coward, not only will I not give in, but I will also make him kneel and call me ancestor princess, uncle Huang is behind you uncle I was wrong, I should have addressed you as my ancestor, princess, why does the atmosphere feel so tense? It made everyone in the palace withdraw the silence was unbearable was it really your beauty that drew him in? Why do his eyes look so menacing? Don't worry, 
I'm here with you. Then why are you wearing my clothes? I'm afraid you'll run away from this confrontation, uncle. His Majesty says that the decision to establish relations and trade between our two nations rests with you. What are your thoughts? Why should our dynasty engage in trade with you when Yi is so strong and Zhu is so weak? Silk, porcelain, and jewelry are produced in the mighty Ya dynasty, while tea, leather, and herbs come from the Zhu dynasty. Our two countries complement each other, and opening up trade would benefit both nations and their people. And your mink fur collar? which is rare in the Yar dynasty, is common in the Zhu dynasty if you want it, I'll have some brought to you I promise you won't be wearing the same collar all year round. The princess came all this way to say that? Wh what else? I am an ambassador and princess of the small Zhu dynasty, and I've been tasked with establishing diplomatic relations between our two countries the imperial uncle cares greatly for the people and should be pleased to see what happens, right? Developing friendly diplomatic relations between our countries is possible, but it depends on how sincere the princess is. Sincerity, you say? That's not a hard task for me what can I do for you? What do you want me to do? Just give the order, and I'll do whatever you want I leave and call you my ancestor. About what you said I don't need you to go to extremes, and I don't need you to call me your ancestor all you have to do is stay and be as faithful as a cow or a horse. So the princess just said she'd be willing to be a cow or a horse, but now she wants to retract her words? Were you trying to deceive this king when you said you'd go all out? No no, how could I even think of lying to someone as powerful as the imperial uncle? Why does it seem like he said that with so much bitterness, don't you dare act all high and mighty someone lowly like you can't change anything, can you? If I must be a cow or a horse, then so be it I. Xingqin, I'm true to my word but, Imperial Uncle, I believe we should look towards the future and not dwell on the past, no matter what has happened a man with a heart as big as yours should be able to do the same don't you agree? What do you think? The embassy is quite far from the royal residence for now, the princess will have to stay at the king's residence and await further instructions you, what are, you planning to do? Your Highness, please control yourself who told His Highness to control himself. It seems that Our Highness needs to learn some self-respect today, is too late I'll have my belongings moved immediately the Great Yi Dynasty is not as open-minded as the small Zhu Dynasty if you're going to be a cow or a horse, don't wear such gaudy clothes, and your bells are so loud it's annoying to my ears. When we met again, my ex had become old-fashioned help me. Prince is asleep and he started a dreaming about him and Princess. We don't have our parents' permission yet, nor the approval of a matchmaker why does that matter? Are you planning to run away? Of course not in love, if you lock up the person you love, it's considered a gift this bracelet can only be opened with one key Uncle Huang, lock me up, and then I will be all yours Uncle Huang, do you not like me? Why are you so indifferent towards me? It's strange I've done as you've asked I will obtain the three letters and six rituals I want to marry you in this life. We will never be separated that little liar. Princess you were something else back then you even had the guts to toy with his emotions are you really moving to the Shao palace? Why not? Don't worry, princess we swear to protect you with our lives do what you have to do I keep having this nagging feeling like I've forgotten something important what could it be? In some forgotten corner the Yi dynasty really knows how to treat its guests well there's no way I could get bored with all these books they've provided a woman in Linquan court had an affair with an old man who lived nearby while her husband was away upon his return, her husband killed her a after a woman swindled a man out of money, he killed her a one woman was quite successful and passionate she had seven or eight lovers the lovers eventually united to trick her, and then they killed her what's up with this? Why don't any of the Yi dynasty books have a happy ending for the heroine? There's no way someone as powerful as the imperial uncle wouldn't be so petty as to try and make a point using all these books, right? What happens if a girl approaches a guy with ulterior motives, has her own night stand with him, and doesn't want to take responsibility for it? It would depend on the guy, his personality, and his status what if it were you? Imperial Uncle A what about a person with a personality and status like yours? 
If you don't want to be responsible, then aren't you just a bad lady a cheater a pig a thousand cuts wouldn't be enough one kill. Zi Yuan let's skip unpacking and run away right now where do you think you're going? Or is the princess feeling regretful and now she wants to go back on her word? Since I promised to work like a dog for you, I won't leave until you say so I'll stay in the Yi dynasty forever and dare not step out good grief it's just that today I was reading the books of the Yi dynasty, and they're all so bloody it is said that life imitates art, so I'm a little worried about my safety here while the princess is here, will she be in fear for her life? I thought you were afraid of me because you wronged me in the past a broken bar but that's what you were worried about so which is it really, princess? I'm sure Shao Palace is well guarded, and with your protection, my life shouldn't be in danger I shouldn't have anything to worry about you're an honored guest, so naturally, you won't have to worry however. The men of the Yi dynasty tend to be petty, and they won't be as forgiving as I am you should avoid getting yourself into trouble with anyone else but if you do, I won't cover for you, even if you're in Shao Palace oh no, of course not I've had enough problems because of you how could I afford to bother anyone else? If you intend to stay here for a long time, you should learn more about the rules and customs of Yi, just in case most of the people in those stories ended up like that because they violated a taboo I recommend reading through those books, so that you can avoid making the same mistakes I'll read them all right away, and I'll memorize them too, that way I won't make any mistakes that could cause you trouble then, I'll be looking forward to it, princess what's with all these rules and regulations? They only seem to apply to women what's the matter with this place? A man touches a woman's hand but she's the one who loses virtue. A woman has to be committed and responsible, and must remain married for life the Yi dynasty is way too conservative if this is the case for women, why not also for men? I just wanted to have my way with him mashed I did everything I wanted, and then more hey, don't you guys have anything better to do than watch as I recite the whole book? Before you got here, I, I mean, we definitely had a lot of work to do so. You're telling me that in the great Yi dynasty, a woman who has been touched by a man is no longer pure, and must be held responsible through marriage? You got it but a man wouldn't be held accountable for the rest of his life if someone touched his hand, right? Men don't really have as many rules except our imperial uncle he's a man who values custom a man of honor a very, very proper man so if a man like that was even just touched by a woman, but I don't wanna commit to marriage how could I? As the tension thickened in the room, the imperial uncle and I exchanged glances, trying to maintain a far a tilde section aid of composure despite the storm brewing beneath the surface we had a peaceful breakup, didn't we? I attempted to lighten the mood, though my words fell flat against the weight of unspoken truths his response was laden with disbelief, echoing my own inner turmoil you really believe that? His tone was incredulous a stark reminder of the fractures in our once serene relationship I couldn't help but let out an exasperated sigh come on, your highness what a pain my frustration spilled out, betraying the calm exterior I tried so hard to maintain you're unhappy with the rules and regulations, aren't you? The imperial uncle's observation cut through the air like a knife, exposing the root of our discord I glanced at the book in my hand its pages filled with words that seem to mock the simplicity of our situation no way this book is so beautifully written that I should frame it above my bed and read it several times a day I scoffed, though a part of me couldn't deny the allure of its pages the imperial uncle's suggestion caught me off guard that's true do it, then right now, his words hung in the air, a challenge daring me to confront the reality I so desperately tried to avoid I couldn't help but feel like I was digging my own grave with every step I took if I frame it over my bed, wouldn't that be like a knife hanging over my head? The thought sent a shiver down my spine, a chilling reminder of the choices that awaited me I haven't been able to find you so you were here? My voice wavered as I finally addressed the elephant in the room, the question lingering between us like a heavy fog do you know where the princess is? The desperation in his voice was palpable, a testament to the lengths he would go to find her I shook my head, my gaze falling upon the figure that had just entered the room pink that's the princess of the Zhu dynasty. My disbelief was evident, her appearance shattering the expectations I had harbored for so long she's not at all how I imagined her. 
I admitted, my voice barely above a whisper she looks all sweet and dainty as the conversation continued, I couldn't help but notice the princess's silence just because I'm not talking doesn't mean I can't hear you, hello, princess I quipped, though my attempt at levity fell short in the face of her unwavering presence is it true that you have 3000 beautiful men at your disposal for entertainment? The imperial uncle's question hung in the air a bold inquiry that left us all speechless why are you at the Shao palace, princess? I interjected, desperate to steer the conversation away from its uncomfortable trajectory the imperial uncle's response was swift, his tone laced with indignation uncle, you're not going to be one of those three thousand men, right? His words were a stark reminder of the rumors that had plagued us for so long what are you talking about? I just own an academy, I don't have three thousand beautiful men he retorted, his frustration evident in every syllable I couldn't help but press further, my curiosity getting the best of me then. What do you get out of it? Can you explain that? My words hung in the air, a plea for understanding in a sea of uncertainty. Oh, come on why do you keep bringing up things that aren't related at all? The imperial uncle's exasperation was palpable, a stark reminder of the tangled web we found ourselves entangled in, certainly. Here's a revised version of the text it, it's just a rumor we run a legitimate business it's just a bunch of girls and boys learning together like a group of brothers and sisters, that's nonsense they actually study? Yes the six arts of nobility ancestral rights, music, archery, etiquette, calligraphy, math, and more but since all the teachers and students who enter our academy happen to be good looking. There's been a lot of gossip about it you'd fit right in if you if I what? You'd fit right in if you went because you're so serious. It's a very intense institution oh, I get it the public has made up all sorts of false rumors. Never mind, princess, by your academy's standards, with a face like mine would I be lucky enough to be admitted? Of course I mean, we would need to hold a vote with the partners of the academy to admit you can I come visit you from now on? Yang Xing Yong yesterday your mother told me that you are not studying properly and asked me to keep an eye on your homework you should quit playing around didn't you have your eye on that horse in my stables? If you still want it, go take it home now really? Exclamation mark huh? Why does the princess have all these books in her room? Princess, let me tell you. Imperial uncle hates books like these he says they're rubbish, they're tools for restricting women, and we should ban them from being popularized and distributed whoever sent these to you has no sense at all you shouldn't read them no sense at all alright, alright I won't you don't want the horse, ah, yes, I'll go right away, uncle, you're so nice, horse, I'm on my way, what a lovely and energetic boy I'm glad he knocked you down a peg, want me to enroll him in your academy, does this look good, 